Hello, this is Chaos Balloon, and welcome back to Golden Sun. Last time we entered Treasure Isle, which is this place, where there was not, honestly not as much treasure as I thought. Like, I mean, there's definitely a lot of treasure here, but I feel like they may all the same want to consider changing their name, because the implication is that there's a lot more than there actually was. I digress, we're at the end of it now, which means we're about to fight another elemental guardian. Which I checked and is actually the Water Guardian, the Sentinel was the Wind Guardian. You'd think I'd remember that because I'd fought it like three days ago, but no. Um, anyway, this time we're trying something a little bit different. Our setup is like this. I still haven't reassigned Ginny because I'm lazy, basically. Uh, but I still have a strategy that might be time consuming, but is almost guaranteed to work against this boss. Uh, I am, however, going to open up with my new Fire summon because it's the water guy so you know let's do it I am the guardian of water if you would claim my power you must prove your worth it's the star magician so here's the thing with the star magician that makes it so damn hard all those damn balls we're open up with Daedalus which hopefully hurts him a whole lot and, throughout this fight, we're going to be using a whole lot of Flash, Granite, and the water one that Isaac has. Like a lot. We're also going to focus on killing his bubbles, uh, starting with the Refresh Ball, I believe, before anything else. Because they are really, really really, really bad news. They are what potentially makes this the one of the hardest fights in the game. First of all, it's like a boss that gets to act like five or six times. Right? I think each one of these has a different element associated with it, come to think of it. Oh, this is this one! I thought this was a completely different one, but no, it's the awesome one! Yep. That dealt very little damage, though, because of the guard guy, unfortunately. This is sort of the problem we're gonna run into. The balls are OP. And there's four of them. I don't think they have that much HP, but they have enough. Oh, that one just straight up explodes. That's actually not that bad. And he just summoned another ball. There's the other bad thing. Uh, okay, I don't have my ninja skills yet. It's gonna take a few turns before it gets back, so... Attack the Thunderball. Hopefully you'll get an Unleash. This, on the other hand, I should use a Guardian Ball. You are going to... Wait, no. You can't do that. You need, to... you need to set Flash. You are gonna use Granite, and you... Sure, why not? Wild Growth. As you can probably by now see, the Guard Ball is sort of a big deal because it stops me from hurting the Star Magician in a, any, to any significant degree. But it's the Anger and Shine Balls that actually hurt me a lot, so... Oh, I forgot about this part! <laughs> That's Didalus for you. It's actually a two-pronged attack! And it's really awesome. Okay, still no ninja moves. Uh, actually, that's appropriate for the Guardian Ball, though. You are gonna use Thundermine on the Anger Ball. You are gonna set that guy. And you are going to, what? No, right, you're gonna use Shade. And then I'm probably gonna use 
wish next turn. But because I'm constantly chaining um, defensive Jinny, and the storm mission is actually one of the, is actually the only endgame boss I think you can reliably get away with doing this. Well, well, actually, in fairness, you can probably do this against the uh, Guardian as well. But anyway, oh okay, think about how much damage that dealt. That was 100 damage with a defense Jinny up. That's kind of insane. But, I mean, this is literally the cheesiest strategy in the game, I think. The only thing potentially cheesier is summon rushing, and you can't... But, but at the same time, the catch with that statement is you can't actually do this against every boss. All the hard, most of the hardest bosses screw with your Ginny in such a way as to prevent this. The guy we just fought summoned my own summons. Before that, well, actually, again, you might as well do this against the Guardian. The do, well, <coughs> I just almost said a spoiler. The Earth Guardian and the boss of the game both have Ginny Storm. Which is the most... Which is basically just complete bullshit in move form. But rather effectively prevents you from doing this sort of thing as well. Hmm. Of course, the big problem with the thing I'm doing now is it kind of prevents you from... Okay, your water, so this doesn't necessarily matter, but it kind of, uh, what was I saying? Right. The problem with this is it kind of prevents you from actually, uh, dealing much damage. You effectively only have two characters that can attack when you alternate like this. I mean, in fairness, I could be doing this in better, with a better method, with which I would get more characters per round attacking. Because I could just do one at a time, and then have two, do two people at once, who reset their Ginny. Actually, why am I not doing it like that? That would be more, that would be far more clever. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just sort of ignore the Anger Ball this time, because it can't really do anything to me. I should probably do something to deal with him, though. Um, water, right? Uh, I mean, that ball isn't water-based, but you can use granite. Well, I'd rather... wait. No, you are going to use flash. You're still going to use... You are still going to use wish well, and you are going to use nettle, I guess, on the thunderbolt. Metal is really bad, but in this case, hitting everyone does actually have an advantage. Because I do want to deal damage to the Thunderball, but I don't think I need to dedicate a full attack to it. Oh, apparently I should have dedicated a full attack to it. Oh, well. It's actually not that big a deal. I mean, honestly, I should probably leave them there, because they are... As, as long as my shield up, they are probably the most harmless uh, ball he has available to himself. Oh wait, now I can do this, and... You know, this doesn't actually buy me an extra character, does it? Hmm. Well, whatever. Okay, Jenna said that Ginny, before... Shiba had the chance to use her priority set. I think there's something a little bit wrong with that, to be honest. Okay, that guy I need to kill. Because the blue one will heal the other ones. It is actually a priority to take down ASAP. So, you know, yeah, because it did that. Um, so, you know, let's, let's uh, do that. Uh, let's use Death Leaf. Let's use... well, I'm still gonna do that. You can Neither of these are actually very good. I guess I'll hit it with... No, it's water-based, though. Actually, no. You're gonna use Eruption. 
Because that'll definitely... I feel like you should target it this way, though. Because I am targeting the blue one with Felix. Felix will probably just about kill it on his own. So, you actually want to set Granite, and I want you to use Shade. Next up, Death Leap! Yeah, I guess I need not have put Den Eruption off center. But taking out the Thunderball is still not bad. He can only summon one ball a turn, and while he has a maximum space for them, oh, he can totally summon more than one a turn. Huh. Well, go figure. I mean, I'm gonna use Annihilation on the blue one. And I am going to use Flash. Wait. Is that wise? No. You can probably deal more damage than, than Isaac. And I don't need to heal, so Thundermine. I mean, I say that, that's not necessarily true. Isaac may easily be able to deal more damage than Jenna. And it's actually sort of a non-issue in the first place. Because Isaac needs to set his Ginny. I guess I should really say, what I should have really said was, Jenna can deal more damage than Sheba, which is actually true. Probably, at least. Uh, and now it's actually worthwhile to heal. So, Jenna, Sheba's gonna be up next. He didn't summon any balls, that's nice. Uh, yeah, Death Leap. Actually, I think Annihilation did more damage, to be honest, so... That one... Flash, and... Wish Well, and... Uh... Wait, what? Oh. Okay, well in that case, I mean, I'm just gonna freaking summon Venus. It's not gonna do much, but... It'll take it out of the rotation, so I'll still get it back. <laughs> and, although I think Star Magician... I mean, it's sort of a really weighted statement saying Star Magician is the hardest. It is the hardest if you're unprepared for it. But he's probably the easiest... But if you are prepared for him, like... He's probably the easiest one to beat if you have a good strategy. Flashbolt, man, Flashbolt is weak. And you'd summon another heal ball. Well, Annihilation! You can set that guy. You can use... Shine Plasma? Sure, why not? And you are going to use Shane. Hmm. And I'm also pretty sure the Star Magician has the least HP out of all of the uh, Elemental Guardians. So you know that's good to know. I mean, aren't you guys done yet? I mean, okay, stop doing that, dude. Just fill up with nothing but freaking Thunderballs. It'll take a while to attack, but they will be basically harmless to me. So, that is probably the ideal. Uh, wish well, and... I can't imagine this will deal much damage. At all. And why not? Let's go for it. I think actually, because I have three of them, I think actually using these for summoning is a good plan. Just not constantly. Okay, that's an anger ball. That makes this better, because that'll do more damage to it. But yeah, like that deals hardly any damage to the star mission, and he's the one that I actually need to kill. You know what, though? I bet I'll get more experience from the Star Mission than I have practically any other uh, and boss. I'm also thinking here, watching this, and I think he might have a special move if he has all of the balls out. So it's probably a good idea to always have at least one down. Um, let's see. I want to restore Felix's PP. I should actually just use a freaking Psy Crystal, though. 
So yeah, let's let's do that. Well, I don't need to do it yet though. Is the thing. So let's do this. You can use granite, and you can use blue edge. Yeah, Felix would have. I would have targeted the healing one with Felix. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay. This will probably not be. Yeah, that's. Actually, it might have been more effective to attack my weep on with Isaac. It's hard to say for sure, but it's possible. It's weird though, I could have sworn Star Magician was freaking wind based. Well, whatever. Annihilation! And. Eruption! And wish and shade. Okay, dealing damage to the actual boss is always good. Hmm. I mean. Eh, that's not that bad. The anger one is just... The anger one actually probably is the single most damage to attack. But with my shield up, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, well, that one bloody protects the freaking... Dude, so I kind of need to kill it. Death Leap. Mmm... Wait. I have two of them on set now. Aw oh, man, that's not right. Whoops! Right, well, I guess I'll just use both of those. <laughs> Actually, no, I need to set one, otherwise I won't be able to defend next turn. So, set that one. I can still summon Mercury, though. Because it'll be ready by the time I want it. Although, I should actually do this the other way around. Venus will be more effective than Mercury. There we go! And I killed it before it could- oh wait, I didn't kill it. Shit. That is no good. Oh, it was defending! Well, I guess it explains why I didn't kill it, but also kind of weird. Little bit. Let's see... Healing this turn would be good. So, I mean, I need to do this again because I need to kill the damn Guardian Ball. Uh, I can do this though. You are gonna, I wanna use Wish Well, which leaves you to defending duty. Oh, yeah, it did it. I'm surprised I haven't killed either of these wind things though. Because I have been using multi-targeting attacks, and they only have around 400 HP. Oh, well there goes one. And it's another Anger Ball. I mean, that'll blow itself up eventually. Like so. So I don't really care! Uh, I should actually heal again this turn though. I can do that, and you can't do that. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm gonna freaking do this because I want you to use Granite, and you can use Wish. And the worst thing I could do right now, pretty much, would be to leave a genie on a defense genie on standby. It's better to summon it than to leave it on standby. Uh, hmm. Okay, I am actually completely out of PP with Felix now. Uh, whoops. I should have actually used a Psy Star on him this tur last turn. Uh, whoopsie. Okay, 
Well, I mean, you're gonna freaking do this, because what the hell else are you gonna do? You need to use a side star on him. You can do... oh. Hmm. Okay, I need you to use your firewall, though. So, I'm gonna set you... No, you're not, you're not freaking summoning that. Let's see... I mean, my best chance to kill it is actually just attack it. You can use Firewall, you are gonna set Granite, and this guy's on standby, so... I might be able to kill this with Plumage, I'm not sure, but you know, we're gonna give it a shot. We are gonna try it! And honestly, it's not the end of the world if I do miss a turn of... Uh, oh yeah, I'm good. It, it'll die. What was it saying now? Right. It's not really the end of the world if I miss a turn of the shield. This guy is not going to party wipe me in one turn. But even so, it really, really pays to be cautious about that. Like, seriously. Also, it's still freaking standing. What the actual hell? Okay, well... I mean, now you're actually gonna use the side crystal. You are gonna use granite. And you're gonna use freaking Mars, even though you're probably the worst character to do so. Okay, yeah. That's at least one bobble dead. Not the important one, though. There we go. Yeah, I sort of figured you were defending. Oh, now there's two of them. For crying out loud. Did I target that Mars on not the Star Magician? That was probably a mistake. Hmm. But I can do this to the new ball, so... You know, at least it probably won't be hanging around. Uh... Cannot do that. So, Felix is gonna be on... Not Felix, Isaac is gonna be on guard duty. I can do this, though. This is pretty effective against Earth-based things. So, let's do that. Um... I mean, you're gonna freaking summon it. And you are going to use Shane. And then next turn, I'm probably going to want to try to, you know, heal myself. Of course you use the shield on the magician. And you must have been defending because my death leap did not kill you. Okay, well, you know, that's one down. Are you fucking kidding me? This is just stupid. Okay, well, Jenna is on guard duty. She, I want to heal of Sheba, which means... Man, I don't even want to use that. You do that, hopefully it isn't fucking guard. You use that. You, I want to use Wish Well. And... I mean, it's not any better than using Plume Edge, so why the hell not? Eventually, I'll deal enough damage to actually kill some freaking Guardian Cores. Which are honestly the wor the most annoying kind. <laughs> ah! What the hell just happened? Okay, that was a little bit weird. I'm not- I'm not really sure what happened there. Oh, it's not another Guardian Core. Woo! Man, these are all alive. No, no. It- they're strong against that. Use Thunderbolt! Like, because that's gonna deal a lot of damage against them, right? Probably not, no. No, you are summoning Mars, you are using Granite, and you are doing basically nothing. 
I should honestly be cycling between Jenna and Shiba and always blocking up Isaac, because he he's my weakest damage dealer right now. Although he can use Wish well. I mean, frankly, I should not even. I probably shouldn't even bothering trying to attack the Star Mission with three three freaking Guardian cores out. It's just I'm never gonna deal any damage to him because at least one of them is gonna freaking defend. Okay, I can live with that. Okay. Next up, more wind-based shit to try to kill the freaking Guardian course. Actually, let's use Carpet Bomb, because why the hell not? And Sonic! And you are... Oh. I guess Isaac's doing that. Okay, summon Venus. And you are using shape. Of course you, you're doing that. You're always doing that. It's actually kind of really annoying. At this point I'm kind of wishing I had actually changed my party around for better summoning. Because this fight, as with, was the case with the Guardian, it would have made this fight a lot shorter. Of course you're fucking defending. If you aren't making my life miserable by making the, the star mission harder to kill, you're making my life miserable by making yourself harder to kill. Although, I'm complaining, but like, this is a really solid strategy. The chances of me losing this are pretty minute. It's just a little bit frustrating within the context of an LP because it's quite time consuming, which is not really ideal. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna try doing this on the Star Mission. I don't really expect it to work out. Uh, wish well, and. I mean, why the hell not? Just please don't defend the- thank you. I mean, in fairness, there's a lot more to manage here than against the Guardian, but at the same time, I'm deal- well, I don't know if I actually am dealing less damage per turn than it was against the Guardian. Uh, in gross damage, I am, because I'm not using Megado. And I actually got pretty lucky with Megado in that fight. But, I'm also not using up a lot of time from, uh... I... But, the Guardian fight also would have taken way longer because it was, uh... Because it healed itself a huge amount each turn. The Star Minister doesn't have that problem. So I'm probably dealing comparable damage to it. Uh, although still not as much as I would prefer, clearly. Kill the freaking Guardian Ball, please. No, you are on guard duty. You are on... Blue Edge? Wait a second. You do that, you're still doing this, and you do... Edge. I mean, if, if it defends the, the star mission, it doesn't really matter who I attack it with. Because it'll be faster. It's a priority move. Hmm. I guess I could have just left all of the balls alone when it had three thunderballs, but I mean, it's too late for that thought process now, isn't it? It's all alone now, so I can actually probably don't need to defend myself this turn. Which is good, because I can focus on trying to kill it. Uh, actually, let's use freaking, uh, oh. I guess Shiba has that? Hmm. Well, okay. You use eruption. You, what? Oh, I guess it's because I don't have Flash. Well, that's... that's disappointing, actually. 
Oh well. Uh, eruption. Uh, wish well. And Venus. Because if this is the only one left, it doesn't actually deal that much damage on its own. It's when in conjunction with a whole lot of bobbles that it's a problem. Oh, and I actually just killed it. Yeah, you know, I don't think... I don't... Oh, yes. Comparable to a single Wonderbird. <laughs> I don't know. Like, were I not well prepared for this, I think it probably would have been the hardest of the three I fought thus far. But because I was prepared for it, it probably was e at least easier than the one that stole my summons. Although honestly, that one is not that bad. Its gimmick is pretty easy to work around. Anyway, for our trouble here, we have unlocked the power of... Azul! Four Mercury and three Ginny. Seven Ginny. Although I guess Catastrophe is more than that. At eight. Hmm. Anyway. Join me next time when we enter the domain of the... Really? Of the final... The final Elemental Guardian. Until then! This has been Go Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age with Chaos Blue. And have a great day. Bye!